Hello! St. Patrick's Day is coming. And with an Irish name like McGee, you can be sure we're going to celebrate at my house. But on March 17th, everyone can be adopted into an Irish family. Let's start with the decorations. I have here some lucky shamrock chains that you can use to decorate your home, your classroom, or your library. And they're easy to make. There's no glue, no tape, no paint, just paper and scissors. Yes! Here's the pattern right here from my book that you can find in your local library, I hope. Or you can order it from my website, ding, 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 ding. Or you could draw something to look just like it, whichever size you'd like. All right. Transfer the pattern to green construction paper like you see here. Now I have six individual shamrocks on one sheet of paper. Because I am Irish, I have magical leprechaun scissors with which I can cut through five sheets of construction paper. What I did was I stapled them all together in places that I won't need so that it keeps all of the papers together so I can cut it evenly. And then I just cut them out. And once all of those are cut out, I need to make a slit right there at the top. To do that, I'll use a craft knife on a cutting board like this. Now if you don't have a cutting board like I do, you can use scrap cardboard or newspaper to cut on. You children that will be doing this project, make sure that you have an adult supervise or help you with this part of the project. Alright, once that's cut, you'll bend it just a little bit, all those sheets together, and that will give me, make it easier for me to put the chain together. Now, you take the shamrock and you fold in the side points of the shamrock like that. I make several at one time so that I can keep the project moving along. Carefully insert the point of the arrow through the slit and then unfold the points on the inside. This way it won't slip out. Until you have a chain that reaches from here to Dublin or the other side of the room, whichever comes first. Isn't that great? But wait, there's more! What else do you think you could make with this kind of chain? If you make the pieces smaller, you could come up with something like this. Hey, a lucky shamrock necklace, or a lucky shamrock half band. I used craft foam to make this Lucky Shamrock Charm Bracelet. When I'm wearing this, I can say, I have my green. Go pinch someone else. Well, it looks like we're ready for the hullabaloo. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Erin go bra. Long live the Irish. May the wind be ever at your back, and may your paper and scissors rock. <laughs>